Why don't you come down off your high horse, babe? I might be able to do you some good. You like to suck big dicks. <laughs> Ellis for the Lone Ranger, a 1991 Konami game that was released only in North America. It's a multi-genre game with an RPG top-down style, much like Legend of Zelda or other games. There's towns where you need to meet objectives to unlock the next part of the map, making this game of eight sections, and in classic NES fashion, increase with difficulty. Within each area, you'll be exploring towns which have a semi-open world field where you can go to stores, buy stuff like ammo and dynamite, what are you buying? or even go to a shooting range. While exploring towns, so don't shoot innocent people, that's not nice. Well, you're dead! But you're dead inside, and you can't live unless you make everything else dead around you! Often on this journey to reach your next adventure, you'll be playing side-scrolling levels or even first-person exploration levels. While multi-genre NES games are ambitious, they often suffer in one or more areas, but this game's done right. You can even use the Konami laser scope or the NES zapper in these first-person parts, but the controller works just fine. This is a hidden gem on the NES if there is still such a thing, and it's relatively still affordable. So grab a copy now or make sure this is on your flash cards or if you want to check it out, emulate it. Still, I feel the Lone Ranger is a very solid Konami game that not enough people have played or talked about too often, so maybe give it a shot if you like good epic action-adventure games, or if you're looking for something unique and different on the NES with a lot of gameplay variety. Don't get on your fucking high horse! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you! And the horse you rode in on, you son of a bitch! Big dicks. <laughs> <laughs>